A couple months ago, Ryobi Tools released 25 new tools and they recently, just today, released another 25 new tools. Now, whether you love Ryobi or you don't, there's a tool in here I guarantee you're really gonna like because they really stepped it up and they're showing some really cool things that I've never seen a tool company make before. So, I'm telling you now, stick around, check out every single tool release. We got them all right here and we're starting right now. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start it out with the automotive section and then we're just gonna keep going. Again, 25 new tools. And even if you are not really in the Ryobi platform, I'm telling you, there's some really cool things and you're gonna say, man, I could probably use this. So I'm telling you, stick around. And if you like tools, get subscribed, hit that bell notification because we do this stuff all the time. So automotive, let's go. What's the first tool that they are releasing? So we're gonna come down here and see half inch high torque impact wrench so it's a high torque these are hp they're all going to be hp i believe maybe a couple of them will not be but most of them will be hp so 1170 foot pounds of torque you got a four mode speed control with auto mode it's always good to see the auto mode the die cast gear casing tri-beam led work lights will probably be up in the front somewhere and i don't see them here there's only i think one picture for this and then the half inch anvil with the friction ring Damn it, I just started this video and already done screwed up. There are more pictures than just the one I showed you. So let's scroll. Here is the high impact. Again, that's with the battery here. And you can see it's underneath a vehicle. And these are just you know pictures to show you how big this thing's going to be. Uh, but taking off lugs on your truck. And you do have the four selector mode and it's digital, which is cool. And right here, you know, you can see sort of the size of this and it's just doing different things but they're saying this thing is able to handle you know some heavy duty vehicles so you know that's pretty cool but yeah so there are more pictures let's move it to the next tool all right so the next one up well next two up you got a three eighths extended ratchet and you got a quarter inch so the three eighths you know once again hp up to 55 foot pounds of torque and up to 230 rotations per minute you got the extended reach and you got the slim four position head, dual LED work lights, ergonomic metal paddle trigger, which is really cool. I love that they added this. So if you're used to using pneumatic tools, you know, your, your wrenches and all that, they kept that on here. So there's no trigger. It's, it's actually like your pneumatic tool, which is really cool and control in any gripping position. Uh, so let's move it to the quarter inch and it's pretty much the same thing. Just, you know, 40 foot pounds of torque, 260 rotations, extended reach, neck position, four slim position head, dual LED work lights. And it's basically the same thing, but one's a quarter inch and one is a three eighths, but they also kept that trigger here. Very, very cool. All right. Here's some really cool ones here. This is the HP compact brushless right angle die grinder. And look, it's shaped like a drill, but it's actually a lot smaller, but HP, ideal for surface prep and tight spaces, up to two times more power than pneumatic. Four mode speed control, zero to 22,000 RPM. Variable speed paddle switch, yes, they kept that switch right here. And then the onboard spindle lock and onboard LED work light. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll through these pictures here and I'm gonna let you see you know, this thing in action. And I do wanna let you know that all batteries are still interchangeable. It's the exact same battery platform, but with the HP batteries, you know, you're gonna obviously get a lot more performance out of them. But this thing here is really cool. I love the design, how they kept it like a drill. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. Or should I say, real nice like. So yeah, there you go, there you go. All right, so if you were into car truck detailing, this might be a really cool one for you. And again, all battery power, three inch detail polisher sander. So, you know, headlight. So there you go. Ideal for headlight restoration, compact, lightweight for work in tight spaces. Up to 60 minutes of finished polishing. You got no cord, no compressor, no hose needed. Two speed switch for both sanding and polishing. Variable speed trigger for detailed work and onboard LED light. Let's take a look at some more of the pictures. All right, so let's look at a couple pictures here. You can see you got the sanding, the buffing, the polishing pads. What's really cool about this, you can get in those tight areas. So yes, you can do the headlights and the side mirrors and all that stuff. But what's nice about this is when I used to do body work, if there was a dent or a ding, or if we had to wet, something, uh, wet sand something out of the clear coat and then fix it, you'd have to use that giant buffer and sometimes you would hit the other panel. 
that is not an issue with this you can fix those smaller areas with this and that's real nice like and we're moving on so you got the side mirror so the smaller areas this is where this thing is going to shine those tighter areas where you don't want to burn and a lot of times those giant buffer pads will burn you know your trim and all that you don't have to worry about that with this that's really cool and you know so they got sanding down here on your engine you know wheels cleaning stuff like that motorcycle tanks i'm not even thinking about that that's really cool so yeah very small areas this thing is really going to shine let's move it over to the next tool all right carpentry if you are into the woodworking this is the section for you so let's move it along and the one that i'm really excited about is probably an upgrade to the most used tool one of the most used tools in my in my shop and that is well let me show you here the new seven and a quarter sliding compound miter saw now i use the first gen a lot there are some issues with it you know the you know when you bring it down it sticks sometimes you know the pin wants to go in they apparently updated everything more power delivers up to 3600 rpm best in class two inch by 10 inch cross cut capacity delivers up to 800 cuts per charge one and a quarter dust port to keep your workspace clean for the tooth carbide tip blade and carrying handle for portability what i love about this thing is they are crazy light crazy portable you can bring these things anywhere you want you just grab it move it doesn't matter who you are i don't care if you're a muscle man or a weakling or whatever this thing i, I love it so let's take a look at a couple more pictures i'm really happy they're updating this because there were a couple flaws with the first gen but i'll tell you what this here hopefully those flaws were corrected let's move it to the pictures all right now looking at these pictures there are two things that i want to point out one's kind of a bummer and one is very very exciting and i didn't even notice this until i started scrolling through here the first one i want to point out is sort of a bummer it looks like this is a single bevel saw it, it is not a dull bevel and there's a lot of times i'm using that seven and quarter saying i wish this was a dull bevel this is a single from what i'm seeing let's move it to a couple other pictures i'm going to point out one thing that is really really exciting uh but yes okay so you do got the slide on this you got your basic clamp you do got the miter going both ways here and you do look like you have an updated dust collection system i would say there's probably no led laser on here but i don't care i don't use that anyway i find that the light which i'm sure this will have is way more precise than a laser is ever going to be but here's what i'm excited about so here's another picture of this this is corded this is corded this is a battery powered 18 volt seven and a quarter saw i didn't even know this until i started scrolling through this this picture set here and this has a freaking battery on it check this out an 18 volt seven and a quarter so now not only is this thing extremely light and already portable as all heck now you got a battery on here that's going to make it even more portable and that is freaking awesome i am so happy to see that they came out with a cordless miter saw an 18 volt miter saw so there you go very exciting for probably a lot of people i know i'm, I'm pretty excited about it. let's move it on to the next tool now as much as i would love to talk about every single tool in detail we're going to start speeding this up here i don't want this video to be you know five hours long check this out this is a flooring saw rip capacity up to eight inches wide ideal for cutting lvt and hardwood flooring cuts up to 240 linear feet of lvt features an optimized blade for clean fast cuts onboard accessory storage and integrated carrying handle uh where's my face my face maximum portability so check that out that's really cool and i'm telling you these are the types of tools that ryobi are great at doing these these one-offs these niche things that will help pretty much the people that are in that category it is so freaking cool so let's move it over now here's an exciting one they are updating their airstrike nailer so the 16 gauge finish nailer everything is getting smaller more compact and more powerful with longer run time so enhanced motor for reliable drive every time can drive up to 1000 nails per charge improved line of sight 78 percent smaller nose so right here very small area you're going to be able to see where you are putting those nails uh improved tool free depth of drive adjustment that is huge that is the one thing that always sort of drove me crazy as much as i love ryobi nailers and so many people say how good these things are they never had a depth adjustment on them and it always drove me nuts but now it seems like they do improve pressure adjustment dial and compatible with three quarter to two and a half 16 gauge straight finish nails 
All right, that's 179. I'm gonna move this up here. Now you got the 18 gauge Brad nailer here. And let me move this here. My face is in the way. Industry's lightest and most compact 18 volt Brad nailer. Drives up to 1900 nails per charge. 12% more compact than previous model. 45% smaller nose. Again, an improved depth of drive and pressure adjustment. So good to see 129 right here. These are all coming to the Home Depot. So you're gonna be able to buy those. 18 gauge narrow crown stapler okay so leads mark in size to weight ratio drives up to 1700 nails per charge seven percent more compact than previous model features improved depth of drive and pressure adjustments drives three eighth to one half narrow crown staples and onboard led light so now let's move it over to the diy lifestyle solutions let's check this out I don't know how they could have made the first gen any better, but apparently they did. This is their glue gun. This is one of my favorite tools ever in the history of tools. I use this thing so much. They did add a drip pin right here, so this will fold out and it'll catch those drips. I never had an issue with anything. I moved my face over there. I never had an issue with anything dripping on the glue gun. It's just a fantastic tool. I love it. Interchangeable glue nozzles. That's a new one here uh, for increased control and productivity. Uh, dual temperature settings provide more versatility. That's an update. There you go. Uh, low temperature setting for heat sensitive materials. Nice. Uh, high temperature setting for high heat adhesive like construction glue. Very good. Fold out drip tray to keep work areas clean. Fast two minute heat time, which is better than the original model. So that's good. And LED indicator light changes color when ready to use. This is awesome. I love this freaking tool and I'm so happy they added more features to it. This is the best. $49, so a little bit more expensive than the previous model, obviously, but a lot of improvement. So there you go on that. This right here, I hear, and it is available right now at the Home Depot. I hear that they are selling out of these things like crazy. If you are a parent that watches your kids' sports, you go camping, you're sitting out by the pool, whatever, this right here has a clamp on it that you can actually clamp to your chair or wherever you're, you're sitting or working. And it's right here, compact weight and portable design, clamps onto materials up to one and a half inch thick, two speed settings, multiple direction rotating head, delivers up to 180 CFM and over 40 hours of runtime, which is pretty insane. So you got the on and off over here, but this is a very portable, small, lightweight fan that you can take with you. $19, I think that's probably why it's selling out so quickly, is because it's only $20 for this little thing, and that's really cool. All right, so moving along here, you got that compact area light. You're looking at $29.97. It's compact, lightweight design, delivers up to 400 lumens. Idea for camping, uh, tight work areas, and during a power outage, up to seven full days of continuous runtime. Up to seven full days. I, I From what I'm hearing, you put a battery in this thing because it, it really does not use a lot of power at all. It will run a very long time. Seven full days days let's move it along all right that's good to see here we go uh okay so work light work light i don't get real excited about uh, work lights but this one right here is pretty cool because you can tilt it down you can tilt it on your side you can you know put it in any direction and it'll stand up or it'll lay down flat so if you're working underneath a vehicle and you lay it down on its back it'll it'll stand up so that's pretty cool 75 percent brighter than previous model 280 lumens 500 foot beam distance and a 130 degree pivoting head. So yes, you do have a pivoting head and you do have a trigger on here. Uh, so let's go to the outdoor power solutions. I think this is going to be really cool for a lot of people that are looking for outdoor stuff. So if you have a patio, deck, sidewalk, driveway, whatever, and you start getting that stuff in between the lines, well, here you go. You know, you got wire brush design, easily clears weeds, grass, and debris from crevices on sidewalks, driveways, and patios. I just said that. Telescoping shaft for ease of use. So that's cool, you can adjust this. If you're shorter, taller, it doesn't matter, you can adjust to your size. Then you got the adjustable auxiliary handle and overmold grip for comfort, and it's an 18 volt. 129 for this, that's pretty cool, and I will definitely be using something like this. Uh, let's move it on to the next thing. Now this is cool here, patio cleaner. You get a lot of dust, you got a lot of debris on here. You got an easy cleaning uh, surface machine that's going to clean the debris and the dirt from various outdoor surfaces. Telescoping shaft again, so tall or shorter doesn't matter. Adjustable auxiliary handle and overmold grip for comfort. This is the kind of stuff that I love. 
You're not sweeping your driveway. You're not blowing off your driveway and blowing into your neighbors, which I don't care about that. But if you have neighbors that you actually like, well, you don't want to blow your dust over there. This might be a solution and just helps clean that stuff up. So that is really, really cool. And $149 for this. And again, this stuff is all going to be at the Home Depot. This one here kind of blows my mind. And again, I come back to right Ryobi is crazy awesome when it comes to these niche products these things that you say to yourself i wish these tool companies had and they are the companies that are able to do it this is the company that is able to bring this cool stuff here this here is an hp brushless two-in-one the thatcher aerator now i do want to let you know straight out it does not have the plug aerator it is the tine so if you're planting grass that is fine but if you're really thinking about loosening up that ground you know trying to you know aerate that dirt and pull those plugs this won't do it but it is a d thatcher and it does have the tines designed to quickly remove layers of dead growth powerful brushless motor collapsible handles for compact storage two active battery ports so two Battery ports, you're going to be able to get a lot more done. Quick change, lightweight design to swap detaching reel from aerating reel. So you can switch it out. You have the tines, and then you're going to have the actual um, the thatcher that you switch out on that. And that is really, really cool. $399, so a little bit pricey, but I'm telling you, this is awesome. If you or somebody's crazy about your yard, and there's a lot of people are, this might be the thing to do. What does it say down here? Four position depth adjustment. So that's awesome as well. Now, next tool, this was already talked about on this channel a while ago, and it is available right now, actually. Uh, 119, and this is basically a very portable power washer. Now, it's great for quick cleaning in remote locations, connects to any standard size garden hose, which is a big deal. But there's another cool feature about this I'm gonna talk about. Included 20 inch siphon hose, can pull water from any fresh water source, includes a two liter bottle, and that's what I was gonna say. You can hook, and there's an attachment that comes with this. You can hook a two liter bottle up to this thing and it's probably not going to give you that much water but if you have to do something like real quick or whatever and you really have to get to an area that you can't drag a hose or whatever you can hook a two liter bottle up to this like a pop bottle or whatever and it'll attach that is cool three in one nods uh nozzle turbo 15 rinse and three cleaning modes low medium and high so that is very cool 600 psi uh, easy clean power cleaner so again that is available at the depot and this is all the different attachments for this thing so let me move my face down here hello and uh, you got a brush you know you got the extension one connect one you know different connection kits you got the uh, nozzle you know you can change the rinse and you know different uh, velocities of water comes out you got a flexible one so if you're working uh, you know on your car you're cleaning it or your truck and you can't really you know get up on top and spray that roof down it's a flexible one it's like a flex shaft and you can come down like this and that is really cool an extension hose and, and three-in-one nozzle cleaner and all kind of stuff for this thing so that is really cool this one right here i am very excited about 150 watt power source chargers supplies 150 watt power to most small electronics 120 volt household outlet so this is saying that it's providing 120 volts so you know can you run a tool i don't think so i don't know but we're gonna try it when we see it we're gonna try it and what's the price on this by the way uh 99 so it's possible 30 watts usb-c power delivery port so you're charging your phones your tablets um doubles as an 18 volt one plus battery charger so you can actually charge your batteries with this right here using this universal charging technology allows you to charge 18 volt batteries almost anywhere so that is really really cool uh, this right here is also a 120 watt automotive power source. Power delivers using your vehicle or one plus battery as a power source. Dual power technology can power inverter by a 12 volt carport or an 18 volt one plus battery. Low profile design for easy storage in glove box, center console, or work bag. So this is something if you're charging something or need power out on a job site you know you got the work truck or, or whatever you're using you can plug that right in and do your thing and that is really really cool this right here blows my freaking mind this right here again this is where ryobi is at when it comes to this cool stuff and i preach it and i say it and people are like i'm telling you this is awesome this is a 14 watt and 21 watt solar panel that you can use if you're camping out on the work site, wherever you are, as long as you have sun. These are mats that you roll out and you actually plug in your phone, your tablet, or whatever you're trying to charge, and it will charge while it's out in the sun. Now, here's the thing I wanna let you know about this. This is not something that holds a charge. So if I put this out 
you know, I lay it out in the sun for four hours and then I put it away and then I want to use it later. That's not going to work. What it will do, however, if you roll this thing out, the sun is hitting it, you plug it in, whatever you're trying to charge, that is how that thing works. And that is really cool. Charge any USB compatible device as long as sunlight is available. Again, it does not hold the charge on these. You have to have the sunlight while it's charging. Foldable, compact, and lightweight. You just fold it up and throw it in your glove box or wherever you're putting it, your bag, whatever. Dual US a ports allow charging of two devices at once when paired with a 150 watt inverter charger can charge 18 volt one plus batteries via solar power solar power and will charge up to two 2.0 ah batteries in a single day with full sunlight so it's not the fastest uh when it comes to charging the batteries you know it says in a single day with full sunlight but with your phone with your tablets with your computers i think it'll charge a lot faster and that is a really really cool feature right there so for the smaller one here uh, the 14 watt you're looking at uh, 69 dollars and for the 21 watt you're looking at 99 dollars and that is it for the new ryobi tools listen some of these tools you know not everybody's going to use some of them are really really cool and this is the stuff i love about ryobi they come out with some really cool stuff and it just you know you don't see it anywhere else so i don't care if you're a professional or homeowner or whatever i think there is something in here for everybody i really do believe that you know if you're in a mechanic if you're a you know detailing shop if you're a construction crew or whatever little things like this that is so cool so i want to know what you think what do you think about the new tools released by ryobi i love hearing your comments leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think if you like this video please don't forget to smash that like button <laughs> greatly appreciate it i always appreciate you stopping by and we'll be back with more videos soon